Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of season two of Love Live Superstar. So, let's go and get started in three, two, one, go. But that wouldn't be fair to the rest of you, though. True, you are right about that. I mean, you know what? And honestly, Chi is right. She kind of may never get a chance like this again. So she has to grab it. And when when the pot is when it's right, that's all. So, but the thing is, like, I mean, and I completely understand because going into the second to last episode, and she's like, you know what? I'm gonna stay here. It is something that I want, but, excuse me, um, she's like, I'd rather stay here. But then you have Chi over, over here like, no, hold up, uh-uh. As your girlfriend, you're going. It's the best thing for you and the best thing for the rest of us. You still have us, but this is what you need to do. This is what you want to do. So, you go for it. Uh-oh. That freaking hurts, Jesus. <laughs> Of course, just as much as Samaria loves you. Yeah, you do, you don't. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, because of course, no one wants Conan to leave. I don't think no one will want any of you girls to leave. Whether it was the five of you or the freaking nine of you. Right. 
I think you guys would honestly be put on hiatus. Huh. Poor baby. Go ahead, let it out. Mm -hmm. And she just knows what's best for you. <laughs> yeah, cause she's your mom. Oh. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm this is your life right now. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna go talk to my girlfriend.
Don't cry, Conan. Exactly. I'm, I'm guessing you want Margaret to be in it. Right? Because it makes sense.
You got this. Of course, they, they would start with, like, a duet with these two, like, oh... That's beautiful. Good. Oh, the feels. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. So...
eight several times. We got him. It's a moment. But why did it get canceled, though? Okay, so final thoughts on this season overall. This was good. I, I do think it was a little bit better than season two. Oh, season two. This is season two. Season one. My, the one little nitpick I kind of have, like, of course, one of, first thing you're all going to think about is the nine girls. So let's go ahead and talk about that one last time. The nine girls, initially with a lot of us, especially when I was in the podcast that I was in, and we mainly talked about, excuse me, Jesus Christ, um, we talked about it for a good minute saying that, yeah, five girls was good, I understand the reason of nine, but at the same time, five was okay, it was different, but now, like, after talking with some of the guys that I talked to about it, some of them, from what they told me, they could not really connect with the four new girls because they were just so satisfied with the initial five and such. And at first, I completely understood that because, yeah, I was kind of like that too. But I was just like, you know what, let me go ahead and give these four a chance because as much as a lot of us, and including myself, was like, there really is no reason to have nine girls because now we're doing just like the previous series have done. And you were doing something different with the initial five and such. But I'm glad I took a chance on these four girls. I really do love them a lot just as much as the others. Oh, are we ending it on best girl? <laughs> there she is. That was good. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I really love the fact that this, it, it continued the relationship of first the initial five 
plus adding in foreign girls and then you know uh margaret now let's talk about a little bit about margaret my thing was she was a good rival but she wasn't the best i think because as a lot of us will say when we looked at lanju from Nishikasaki, like in my opinion, Lanju was like the she is the best rival and such, especially with how and what they did with her. And I think because I I really enjoyed with what they did with her with Margaret uh Margaret, it was more like it felt like something else was missing. And as I talked about it in the podcast that I did, I was like, well, if they ever do like an OVA episode on her to give her a little more like oomph then yes i would like damn like this is what i needed when she first came on now that this show has officially been confirmed for a season three and that she's going to be in season three something tells me we're initially by by season three we're going to have 10 girls and she's going to be our 10th and final girl which i'm not mad at because it kind of makes the most sense since she's now officially joining the school it's like okay you're going to be a part of this and now we have to take these 10 girls and de um differentiate them into their subunits because that's the one thing we haven't done yet and so it feels like what they're trying to do is they're trying to get everyone together and then boom there we have our full 10 girls of um Liela and then the subunits and such and then also everybody's solo songs um every episode focusing on each girl was interesting i think the one other nitpick i can probably say that i did agree with with the guys that i was talking to about this show was initially with the first four or five episodes um of this 12 episode series when you are trying to um focus on getting four new girls into the show boom that's done and you're now halfway done with your show and you know that it's going to be like them winning love live like because initially with one of my other um one of my other guy friends who i talked to about this show i don't think he's seen the last episode so he doesn't know that uh lelia won he assumed that because the show got a season three is because they lost and I, as someone who at that time who didn't see the episode, I initially thought that too. But I'm very surprised that they won because I was like, okay. Because yeah, when I saw the conf uh, the confirming of season three, I was like, okay, so you're telling me they lost in the last episode? Like, damn, that's messed up. But I'm happy they won. Um, but yeah, the, the biggest thing was about what my other guy friend said was having the four new girls come in didn't really give them enough time to develop and so when you're done with them and then you're having like the second half of the show that is all about you know winning love live and as a group and such that feel that still that you barely got screen time with them i'm kind of different on that opinion i mean they gave initially all four girls like the screen time to have their own separate episodes to have each girl join the group and such and then to also be like okay since we gave all these four first new girls um episodes on themselves let's double some episodes and be like okay here's Samira and Kukuru here's Chi and um best girl Kanan here's a Ren episode mainly focusing on both Mei and Ren um as characters and because they love gaming and such but at the same time it's a distracting for baby that that episode honestly was the best episode of the show that and then especially the Samiri um ex Kukuru moment of them crying and having like just you know them basically confessing to each other that they love each other and they want to be you know girlfriends and they're dating because it is canon I don't care what you tell me it's freaking canon I'm sorry but I mean yeah I thought the season was really good like I said those were my little nitpicks of it I did enjoy the season a lot the final song really beautiful very sweet I mean damn you almost made me want to cry um the CGI and everything very very good wonderful beautiful gorgeous I love the fact that Margaret is officially you know coming to school with them it's weird that the her Trip's been canceled, so I hope that in season three they do explain that because you, leaving it up in the air, it, there's many, like, so many freaking unanswered questions with that. But 
yeah other than that guys that is my reaction view towards the entirety of season two of love live superstar if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys whenever the heck season three comes out whenever the heck the aquas you know best girl yohane spinoff show is coming um and then when ichi kasaki's uh little chibi cute-esque um spinoff show was coming which i guess funny enough like one guy who i was also talking to about he he was pissed that this got to season three and that nijisaki didn't but that doesn't mean nijisaki can't go get something i feel like nijisaki is going to get something except they're getting that spinoff first but until then i will see you guys all next time bye